Creatively speeding up and slowing down your footage can breathe new life into clips that may seem less interesting when played in real time. This is known as time remapping, and it's a great tool to use in your videos. Here's how to master time remapping in Adobe Premiere Pro. Time remapping allows you to vary the speed of an entire clip and lets you gradually ease the keyframes in or out. To get started, go to your timeline and right click on your clip's FX badge, then select Time Remapping Speed. And the horizontal line, also known as the rubber band, will move to the center of the clip. This rubber band is a clip's speed, with the center being 100% or regular speed. As a side note, it helps if your video track's height is as high as you can make it for ease of use. Position the playhead where you want the speed change to start and create a keyframe, either by using the pen tool and clicking on the speed keyframe or by control or command clicking the rubber band. Then move the playhead to where you want the speed change to end and create another keyframe. You can do this for as many speed changes as you want. Select the white rubber band between the keyframe and drag it up or down. Dragging it up increases the speed up to 1000% and dragging it down decreases the speed down to 1%. You can hold shift while dragging to adjust the values in 5% increments. Once you drag the rubber band up or down, the size or duration of the clip will change accordingly. If there's a clip at the end of your footage on the timeline, the clip you're working on won't overwrite and it will be cut off to fit the space. Now that you've made your initial adjustments, go back to your clip and see what you think. Since you haven't added any ramping, the clip will change speeds immediately, which can be jarring. It may work better to make the speed ramp more gradually. Once the keyframe has been created, you can click and drag one of the sides of the keyframe to see the ramp that goes up or down depending on your adjustment. The program monitor will show you the start and end of the ramp as you're moving it around. If you want to make the ramp even smoother, click on the keyframe to bring up a blue box with bezier handles and drag them left or right to smooth it out. You have a few more keyframe controls after you've created them. Move an unsplit keyframe by holding Alt or Option and dragging it where you like. Once you've split a keyframe, change the in and out points of the speed change by clicking on the speed control track between the split keyframes and dragging it left or right. This will allow you to move the keyframes later or earlier in the clip. There's also a way to make a clip go backwards, then forward, by holding Control or Command and dragging an unsplit keyframe to the right. The left angle brackets show up in the reverse section, and a new forward section of the same length will be added after the backward section. You can then adjust the speed rubber bands up or down on each one of the sections to your liking. Using variable speed ramps is a great technique to add more drama to your shot. Like every other creative choice, just always make sure that it helps add to the story and movement of your overall piece. If you like this video, check out our YouTube channel and subscribe for more tutorials. You can also read the Pond5 blog for an in-depth companion piece, as well as other filmmaking tips and tricks. And as always, head over to Pond5.com to get millions of video clips and other assets to use in your next project.